Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be editing your photos. Now I put this out a little while ago that you guys could send me your photos and I am still hoping that more of you will. So far only one person has sent me their photo and that person is Arnon Hubara. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. And I just really want to thank you. I am so honored to be able to first of all look at your photo and second of all, edit it. And of course, this is just my edit. You might choose to do something different with it, but uh, I, I really am excited. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Arnon said that this photo was taken in 2008 in the Vatican using his Kodak DCS-14 Pro. And he said it was his first DSLR and that it wasn't designed to be a field camera. He also said that the photo is underexposed which makes it impossible next to impossible to process let's see what we can do and he is right it is underexposed and it's uh, quite noisy of course i've actually been to the vatican myself and all of my photos there it's, it's really hard to take photos because it's so dark inside but then the light the sunlight on the outside of the windows also makes it really difficult let's take a look here at our histogram and as we can see the image looks underexposed but actually right here with this little tick up that's this window right here and that is overexposed the first thing i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and just add a lens correction and you can see it's automatically selected right here uh, the D dcs pro and if i look at we don't have any information on the lens so that's okay so we'll just leave that there and then I'm going to go ahead and just click this right here and add an unfinished version to my queue. And the reason that I'm going to do that is I'm going to then edit my image and try and bring out as much information as I can without worrying about this overexposed window. And then once I'm done with that, I can actually put this into GIMP and I can go ahead and overlay the two images on each other and work with the overexposed areas that have been correctly exposed here in the unedited image. So now let's go ahead and increase the exposure to something that seems about right. And I'm looking, looking in all sorts of areas. I'm trying to look in the darker areas here, uh, here in the lighter areas. I don't want to go too high. Like here you can see we're starting to get overexposure in this area on the wall so let's go ahead and bring that back and actually the the blacks in the image on the histogram they say that they look right i'm going to add a little bit back in just to give some contrast okay and then i'm going to move the lightness and let's add in some saturation something like 16. now let's go ahead and turn on our shadows and highlights and increase our shadows just a hair maybe six is good and then here with the flexible and the tone curve i'm going to choose the flexible one and i'm gonna go ahead and I'm brighten things up so i'm just I have a very slight s curve right here so if i turn that off you can see that the image was still struggling with uh, feeling maybe a little flat and then turn that on and there you go okay so now that we've done that edit you can see we're really some of these lights have been well overexposed right here so let's go ahead and move over into the sharpening turn that on and zoom into one to one and i'm going to go ahead and just bump up the radius to something like a thousand or bump up the amount i'm sorry to something like a thousand and then i'm going to play with the radius until i feel like I like the look, something like that. And then I'll back this off the amount. I'll back it off to, I, I always think about 400 looks good. So I turn it off, turn it on. You can see that we've gained a lot of sharpening there. Okay. And then we can add in local contrast, which also helps. And then let's head back over to, see here we are. Turn that off, turn that on. We can head over here to the vibrance course and add in a little bit. And then in the HSV equalizer, uh, let's go ahead and open up the saturation. And then let me go ahead and control click this color here. I'll get rid of that. And then control click this color here, get rid of that. 
And let's try and get one of these yellows and maybe some of this darker over here. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and gotten rid of all of the default points and instead I've just left the points that I selected here in the image. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the yellows so to warm the image up. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Actually, let's just copy this curve and then paste it in our value. And you can see that that lightened up these areas here. Oh, one other area that I want to darken actually is these pews down here. So I'm gonna select my color selector and then control click here. So now I'm gonna turn on this window here. I'm gonna go ahead and select this area. And let's go ahead and add some noise reduction. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take the luminance recovery up to 100. And then I'm going to look between the conservative and aggressive. And I actually am gonna choose aggressive on this image. And then um, let me go ahead and take this back to about there. Well, let me leave it at 100. And let me adjust the gamma because I wanna be able to make sure that I'm keeping as much information as I can. And then um, let me bring the illuminance back until there's a little bit of noise. And then let's go ahead and increase the detail recovery a little bit. Actually, let's just leave the detail recovery where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the noise reduction and then click the processing queue and then I'm going to turn it on and give this a value of 20 and then click the processing queue and then go ahead and give this a value of 50. Add that to the queue as well. And then I'm going to export all of these images. All right, so now I've opened up our unedited image and then I'm going to open up, this is the one, the edited image without noise reduction. This is the edited image with, oops, a little bit of noise reduction. And this is the edited image with the most noise reduction. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is come here to the image without noise reduction. And I'm going to drag my unedited image up here to the top. And then I'm going to add in a layer mask and click black for full transparency and click add. Then I'll hit F in order to get my lasso tool and hold down shift and maybe add in a little bit of feathering. Let's say something like um, three. Then I'm just gonna go ahead. Since these are background elements, you don't have to be super, super careful. Control Shift J to zoom out, and then Shift B to grab the paint bucket tool, and then go ahead and switch the color to white, and We've gone ahead and brought back those lesser exposed windows. Let's go ahead and come up to our most noise reduced. So then next what I'm gonna do is hit Control Shift D and I'm going to duplicate these two images and then right click on this and say apply layer mask and then right click and merge down. Then I'll turn these off and go ahead and drag, drag this up to the top of the lesser noise reduction version of the photo and then go ahead and select this image and hit filters enhance and high pass filter and then go ahead and take this down to something low like one and click ok and then change the blend mode to hard light now we can turn that off turn it on off on and we actually might need to just go ahead and bring those windows back up to the top. So you can see that there's still some noise here, but on the whole, this is what we started out with, and this is what we've ended up with. If I really wanted to, what I might do is take my, my super noise reduced picture and then go ahead and add a layer mask to it and hit P on my keyboard and go ahead and increase the size of my brush and take the hardness down to zero. And then go ahead and paint in some of that really crazy noise reduction. Okay, so now I can turn that off, 
you can see turn it on so anyway that's how i would edit this image arnon i want to thank you again for giving me the honor of being able to edit this image i hope that this edit that this tutorial has been helpful for you if it has please like comment and subscribe mainly just subscribe and i will see you next time